Hi, you winners. Welcome back to some more scratches. Now, <laughs> some more scratches. So basically what I was supposed to do, which I don't know how the hell you would guess this. Luckily, I'm already in this room, though. Is, oops. Can I walk in front of it? I guess this is me in front of it, isn't it? Okay. What you're supposed to do, and I haven't played in like two weeks, so I'm sorry if I kind of suck a little because of the visit of River, but you're supposed to do this. Oh, the desk was inappropriate to put the luggage. For some reason, you're supposed to know to put the luggage on the fucking desk. This game's gonna take me a while. Okay. So, ooh, and a typewriter. And that's it? Oh, okay. Ooh. I was eager to start doing some work, but the idea of exploring the place was too tempting. Well, I've explored the entirety of the place. But okay. So, and then this is for the other one. So, let's do that. Oh, no. Oh, hey, cool. He just shoved it on it there. Okay, pen. What's this? I can't read it. Okay. Get laundry. I can't read your handwriting, boy. CDs. Call. Get a... Something. Page update. Get MD for... Send MD for... The... Say, I cannot read that. <laughs> Barbara. I have not done that. Okay. And... Something about Australia. Finish track. My ear is bothering me. My piercing's angry. 700 words on Della. Divine something. Okay, cool. Can I... No, I don't want that. Whoa, that's... That works. Real estate agent. Oh, so I have his number now. Mr. I don't know his number. Maybe you could have said, it's in my suitcase. And I would have tried to figure out... I got matches! What's this? Michael. It took me... He has the same fucking handwriting. Okay. It took me months, but at, le at last I think I managed. Well, I mean think, to so to speak, as there are only a few, very few details left. But I can confirm with certainty that the house is yours. I owe you an apology because I didn't think it'd take me that much time. I tell you, I'd have never thought that finding a Victorian house, and no more and no less than in Rothbury, would have been so hard. The majority of the old houses in this region are either impossible to live in, or they belong to the aristocracy. Um, as if that wasn't enough, you and your bloody whims, was it really that necessary being so cut off from town? Why all the sudden need for solitude? Well, as long as you don't become one of those typical hermit writers. That was the seventh of 19-something. Damn it. Uh, anyway, this beauty will take your breath away. It belonged to a wealthy family that always took great care of it. Around the mid-60s, it became the property of one person. I believe a friend of this family. I was probably the greatest person. Um, he lived there for about five years or so, and then abandoned it. Yes, you read right. Abandoned it. As far as I know, this lunatic, a renowned doctor, spent his last days getting drunk and lousy bars before vanishing from the face of the earth. Why someone would go beyond, do that is beyond me. So he vanished. He didn't necessarily abandon it. That sketch. Fuck. Uh, the house then became the property of the National Trust, and surprisingly enough, no one ever did anything about it. That is, until I rescued it from oblivion, of course. It took me one... It took me a lot of work, so I hope you like it. The price is just as we discussed earlier. I know it's hard to believe that, but the price of the interior was never agreed upon. So whatever you find inside, be it furniture or a long-lost Rembrandt, it's yours. Just remember our deal. If you find anything of great value, you have to share it. Now, I won't bother you if you're sort of... I won't bother you if your sofa collection happens to be valued in the thousands, but if you bump into a hidden cache of money and you can never really know, really, wait, and you can never know really, then I want a piece of it. Wait a second. If you happen to sell any important item 
you find inside the house, such as your sofa collection, I have to get a part of it too. Business is business, any fr my friend. Okay, by the way, I sent two people over yesterday to clean it from top to bottom. They did not do a very good job. Six years without inhabitants must have left a nice coat of dust, don't you think? They couldn't do... Aw, oh, the music's gone. They couldn't do wonders, though. And you are going to need weeks to fully clean that place. Oh. Uh, oh, they told me the house seems to have a rat problem. But you can't have it all. Should you need anything, don't hesitate to give me a call. Your friend, Jerry. I did not find any rats whatsoever. Michael Arthate. Vanishing Town, of course. Number one bestseller, the most breathtaking page turner of the year. A passing traveler comes across the small town of Fetch Rock, set in Cornwall, uh, England, only to find that it's completely deserted, devoid of any signs of life. Houses, shops, town hall, church, no human being to be seen. The traveler informs the authorities of a nearby town of this fantastic event. The next day, an officer accompanied by two policemen visit Fetch Rock. Except everything is back to normal. Silent Hill. Ten years later, John Parker, a journalist, reluctantly accepts the assignment to investigate these strange events, as they have now grown into a persistent local legend. How could it have been a practical joke by the uh, anonymous eh, anonymous traveler, or did someone truly strange, something truly strange, take place in the vanishing town? Things become more mysterious when Parker learns no inhabitant of Fetch Rock remembers what happened on that day. What at first seems to be a lousy job for Parker eventually turns into a nightmare as Fetch Rock is no ordinary town but home to deadly secrets and lurking evil. I smell foreshadowing. I don't feel like reading the rest of that. Okay, cool. You guys can, so it was up enough. That's his note. I don't care. Oh, 1976. Damn. Okay, so I got the business card, and I now know the number. Is that it? Okay, I guess I'll just leave that there. So let's go call this motherfucker. Okay, okay. That seems like a good plan to me. Because I need that, and I also need to turn on that stove. But we'll do that later. Okay. Down here... Thought I heard scratching, sorry. I was silent for a second because I was a little scared. Go over here. Wanted to speak with Jerry. Let's do that. Blanket. Hello? Jerry, it's me. Any news? Nope, nothing. Well, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Oh, sorry. Goodbye. No news? Okay. Let's call Barbara. God damn it. What the hell? I dialed another number. Oh, I can actually dial numbers? Shit. Okay, well, I want to call Barbara again. Because what hell? I need her. I need her badly. You got anything? What? Fuck. Okay. Maybe I missed something in this suitcase. Because, if I remember correctly, I totally... Whoa, why is it so dark all of a sudden? Was it always that dark? What the hell? Did it like... Is it nighttime? Can I sleep now? Okay. Well, so, Barbara... Zero two. Well, okay, so I know the number. He's clearly calling her. Okay. What about you? Yeah. Okay. I'm really not missing anything else. Why can't I look at that picture? I want the picture. Fine. Fuck you too. Okay. Well, yeah. I guess that's it. Totally thought I'd be able to call people after that. Because, hmm, I guess I can mess around with the matches. Can I use the pen on here? No point writing an address until I had something to mail. 
this. Okay. You should mail it to Barbara. That's what I read. He should mail it to Barbara. Okay, can you sleep yet? Hmm. Music's back. Let's go light that thing. I don't know why. But I feel like that's the only thing we can do right now. Because I have explored the entirety of this house. Nope. Too far. Too far, buddy. Too far. Up here. Okay. That way. There we go. I haven't played in a while, guys. Why does this feel so much darker than the last time I played? Was I playing during the day last time? That'd make much more sense. Okay. Let's use the matches. Since I had no intention of burning anything just yet, I decided not to waste any matches. Okay. Is there anything that I want to put on there? Can I do that? That wasn't useful. What about this? Oh, I need oil. Shit. So I'm gonna have to find oil from somewhere. What does this key do? Oh, it's to the basement. Okay. So, let's go. Just so I'm not wasting too much time for you guys, I'm gonna go quickly look up what to do. Okay? I will see you guys in a second. Back winners, see what we can do. Oops. Um, I guess I needed to try a light switch at some point. I don't know. I don't know why the Barba thing isn't working though. That makes little to no sense in this game. So, I guess I'm gonna just go downstairs. I also have a massive inventory in comparison to the person that I'm watching do the walkthrough, and they know exactly what they're doing. So. Maybe I just won't have to do some stuff in the future that they have to do. Yay. Um, but it's confusing me because I have way more than I should. So, yeah. Let's try this light switch. Alright, I intended to brighten up the whole place, but to my surprise, the lights didn't work. Okay. So, let's go downstairs then. And phone up Jerry and bitch at him. That is what they do. So I hope that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. Okay, let's, ooh, there we go. All right, I wanted to speak with Jerry. Hello? Jerry, it's me. What's up, Michael? Everything seems to be fine, <sighs> except the lights don't work. Oh, you don't have to worry. I forgot to tell you. I had an electrician, one that I trust, to meet you there this morning. You know how a lack of power can be a recurring issue in old places like that. You should be arriving soon. That's good to know. I'll set up my stuff and let you know how everything does later. Perfect. Have fun. Okay. Well, the thing with that is he's not here, and I've been here for quite a while, so that's awkward. Also, what I'm going to do is... Well, I was going to hit escape. That's not what I want to do. Oops, leave that. Let's go look at this. It's written in Italian. I had to do something about it. Okay. Well, now let's call Barbara? Do we have to do this in an order? Oh, yes. Hello, Are they Productions? Are they Productions? What in heaven's name was that? Oh, hi, boss. I was just feeling around. Well, don't. I don't want people thinking I'm some kind of studio. And don't call me boss. Awkward. I'm I told you it was going to be that way, girl. But I still need you there. I just hope you're not being bored to death. Oh, don't <laughs> worry. I'm studying tongues during my spare time. Oh, okay. hey. I love that so much. That's great, but don't lower your guard. As soon as I publish my new book, that place is going to get riddled with phone calls and hundreds of fan mail. Sure. That's the spirit, boss. I know your new book's going to be a huge success. Of course it will. <clears throat> as soon as I find a proper ending. And stop calling me boss. As you wish, boss. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Goodbye. Good luck. Okay. Well, maybe she's not going to read. What? Okay. Swore to God. She's supposed to read that for us. Unless maybe now I can put it in there. You should mail it. Mm. Call you one more time, bitch. Hey, 
It's me, Bobby dear. I need to ask you a favor. Bobby dear. I found a letter. There we go. I'm curious about it. It's in Italian. Do you think you could translate it for me? My Mr. Athwaite, are we being naughty? Mrs. Styles. Yes, yes, of, of course I can. Just send me the letter and I'll put hands to work as soon as I have it here. Excellent. Hmm. I wonder if the postman will come by. I feel like I'm the last person alive on the whole planet here. Well, have Thanks. you told the post office in Rothbury that you're moving to Blackwood Manor? Yes, Jerry did. I just hope they don't forget about me, that's all. In any case, thank you. You're such a dear. That's what I'm here for. Actually, that's what I'm paying you for. Ouch! Anyway, I'll go and try mailing that letter. I'll be standing by for action. Thanks. Goodbye. Good luck. He's such a dick. Okay. Now I can do all the shit that I need to do. Thank you. Now let's write on it. Now. The envelope I had was properly addressed. Had the lettering was properly addressed. So let's go outside. And mail the freaking letter. And honestly, that is the extent of my knowledge as to what we do from now on. Hopefully shit happens. I don't know. I don't know what else could happen. Excuse me, buddy. There we go. Right. You have to follow the path like a good boy. But Yeah. No sign of the electrician. Oh, I have to meet him out here? Awesome. Okay, well maybe I have to go to the basement and do the breakers. I'll do that at some point. Ooh, I have a letter. Mr. Arthate. Oh, I'm the one that wrote that book. Shh. Um... Mr. Carter sent me here today to fix a power problem in your residence. I was told to meet you at the gates, but I've been waiting a few minutes and haven't seen any signs of you. I will wait some more and then leave. Please contact Mr. Carter as soon as possible. God damn it. Okay, well, fine. I'm gonna mail this letter, though. Alright. Hopefully somebody comes by. We'll see. So... I don't like facing the woods. Let's just go right back into the house, shall we? Thank you. So let's talk to Jerry again. Because what the fuck, Jerry? What the fuck? Okay. The electrician sucks if he doesn't come to the frickin' door. Okay. Hey, buddy. Carter Properties. Jerry, we have a problem. What happened? <sighs> The electrician missed me. He left a note in the mailbox. Bloody hell. He was supposed to meet you at the gates early this morning. I thought he was just being late. Damn. Then I must have missed him for a few minutes. What the heck am I supposed to do now? Why don't you go check the fuses yourself? Maybe it isn't that serious. Jerry, all the fuses seem to be fine. I think the problem might be a little more complicated than that. I see. Yeah, I already what went to the basement. Now? Go get some candles. You're joking. No, I'm not. I'm calling this guy right away, and I'm afraid he won't be able to stop by until tomorrow. He was already driving there today as a personal favor. There must be something you can do. I don't feel comfortable walking around this place with dim lights. I barely know it. Michael, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? It would be like you were living in a past century. Exquisite Victorian house, lit by candles. Mm. What I wouldn't give to be in your place. I left my then sense come of here. adventuring. Back in London, thanks. I have work to do. Then do it. <sighs> what else could you ask for? Now you have the chance to experience firsthand one of your period pieces. Oh, very funny. Try getting that guy over here as soon as possible. Don't worry, I will. Make sure you find some candles before it gets too dark. I found a lantern. Yes, candles. Bye. So I need to find. Immediately after hanging up with Jerry, I realized that I had already explored enough to determine that there aren't wouldn't be any candles inside the house. Thank you. Thank you for that. But I do have a lantern. Now I would like to light this lantern. But it needs oil. Where the fuck am I gonna find oil? Shit. Let's I feel like oil would be in the basement. Fuck the basement. It. Well, let's try the kitchen. Or actually, that bathroom even might. I don't know. I can't. I can't think of any place that might have had oil. Uh, not there. Already explored there. It's getting kind of dark. Da 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 dark dark dark. Is that fuck up what I'm saying? 
Although, like, there was nothing to explore in the freaking basement. Well, that's not quite what I wanted. Is there any oil whatsoever? That's to outside. Anything? What's that? Utensils ready to be used. Oh, whatever. Okay. Well, I'm gonna check. What's this? What? What is that? So, should I put something in there? I don't. I can't. Uh, there's nothing I can really put in there. Damn. It was a nice, rustic, old-fashioned grinder. Well, I'm gonna need to grind something at some point, because that's why it exists. Okay. Is there anything over there that I can... Some things, jars and cans, adorn the kitchen. But is any of it oil? Because I would greatly appreciate that. Or something maybe I can grind. No. I can grind anything. Ah, that sounds funny. That's what she said. What? Oh, that was it. Freaking out. Okay, fine. Fine. I'm going to go into this room. This is the last room I can think of. It's like that dark room type of thing. Maybe. Ooh, what's that? Never saw that before. I probably did. Didn't notice it. Oh. Clearly it's un unimportant. So, anything else? No? Let's try this last room. Then, I'll see you guys in the next episode. But at least we have made progress. Unlike with the last one. So, yeah. I'm not seeing anything. So, I will look up what to do. Because I have a feeling I'm going to have to pretty much follow a walkthrough for this entire game. So, I will try to look up ahead of time what I can possibly do. So that way you guys aren't stuck watching me suffer like you did in the last part. I'm so sorry for that. But I will make it short so that way you guys aren't, like, freaking out about it. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Otherwise, keep winning at life. Bye, guys.